What's up guys, today I am going to bring you a video that I really didn't think about doing earlier, but I should have done. But, that is, if you are AFKing for Christmas paper in game, which after a recent video, which I'll link down below, showing loot from 100,000 wrapping papers, um, you don't want to be buying keys for this paper anyway, so if you're AFKing to get the paper, which is, it makes absolute sense, then these are going to be some ways in this video that you can make money while doing that as well. So you're going to be able to AFK, make a bit of extra cash, and then also get yourself some wrapping paper. I thought of this idea because I was just basically using protein stuff to AFK and get my herb blower up, but also get some paper. I was like, hey, I might as well do this. I can grab the paper together. I might as well hand it in. It's a bit of extra. But if you want to specifically AFK and get your Christmas paper, then you might as well make some money while doing so. So here is some AFK methods to make some money, and also they are decent ways to get some paper as well. If you enjoy the video, leave a like, sub to the channel if you're new, and let's go. Okay, so one, I apologize about my voice, but it's okay. You still should be able to understand what I'm saying just fine. Um, the first method requires level 30 in Herb Law, and it's nice and easy to do. What you're going to want to do is go into the Grand Exchange and buy yourself a clean Toad Flax, or as many as you can afford, pretty much. The limit is 10,000. We're just going to buy 100 here, just for the example, um, and you're going to buy these. And then you're going to go ahead and buy yourself vials of water as well. Now, the reason you want vials of water is because we are going to be making Toad Flax potions, the unfinished versions. So once you've got this, chuck it in your bank, and then you'd even make a preset, uh, or you'd just make the transfer of 14 each. And I would suggest using a portable well for this, which you can grab on World 84, of course. But I'm not going to do that because it's just for an example. So World 84, Lumbridge Training Camp would be your best bet for this. Anyway, use the clean toad flax on the vial of water, press the space bar, and then wait it out. This is going to take a total of 14 seconds per inventory. Uh, so it is fairly low effort. All you have to do is open the bank, load a preset, and then mix the potions again. Nice and easy to do. And this will, as you can see, trigger the Christmas paper because you're getting 2 XP or 1 XP if you, if you don't have bonus XP uh, every single time you do this. Nice and easy. So next, once you've done this, all you're going to do is sell these straight off and make yourself a good amount of profit. These are selling at the moment uh, for a good 4,000 each. So obviously this is pretty profitable considering these cost 3,000 each and the vials of water costs 60 GP each. So you're making 1,000 profit per um, potion you do make and it is really nice and easy to do. So this can make you a good amount of money while you're AFKing and because you're getting quick XP ticks, you are going to be getting the actual paper every chance that you have. So this makes a really good AFK method of making a bit of money and collecting up that Christmas paper. For this next method, it's not going to really involve anything specific, but it is going to be just mentioning any sort of raw material gathering whatsoever. This could be mining, this could be fishing, woodcutting, archaeology, all of these things are pure profit. And of course, if you can do this at a higher level, you're going to be making more money and this will be better. That being said, there's going to be people watching this video that aren't all max players or high level players. So I wanted to include this one as well as the next one, which is going to be for free to play players too. So stick around for that one. Um, but you can make a good amount of money, even if it's only a few mil per hour, four mil per hour whatever it ends up being depending on your level um just by doing these raw material gatherings and it costs you absolutely nothing as well so any form of mining is going to be good profit and um, runite or the luminite i believe is a good place to look at for a couple of mil an hour using stone spirits using uh, the juju potions all of these sort of things to get extra out of it is obviously going to help the same goes for fishing as well you could go and fish some blue blubber jellyfish which is what i opted to do in this video as you can see here i'm just afking fishing some blue blubber jellyfish you you can definitely get more than this uh, as i'm not really using any benefits here uh, you can probably get a way of using a little bit more all i did was use the aura uh, but you can definitely fish uh, a good amount of blue blubber jellyfish and these are 5k each now even if this doesn't add up to a ton of gp per hour it is still profit and you're still getting xp ticks pretty often so you're still going to be getting that paper at a good rate so that is the main thing and of course if you are looking at doing this at all different levels just look at if you're low level and you're not maxed yet then go ahead and do some gathering like skills that are going to gather you uh, xp as well as the paper and it's also going to make you a little bit of extra money even if it is a little bit less it's still a good thing to do good thing to consider so keep it in mind next up is one for free to play players now this isn't going to make a ton of money because it's free to play now the highest money you can make in free to play i believe is killing chickens and that's like 1.2 mil an hour at the most so for afk you're not looking too bad now if you can grab yourself some maple logs off of the grand exchange which really don't cost that much you can see i bought them here uh, they're around about 349 gp each at the moment you can craft these or fletch these should i say uh, with a knife into arrow shafts now 
this is the best way to do this as maple logs specifically are a um, higher level log meaning you get more arrow shafts per log uh, but also uh, you're gonna be paying a lot less for maple logs than willow or oak or even regular logs so you really want to be able to do the, the the maple ones now this is going to need level 45 fletching which isn't too difficult to get to you could just do arrow shafts until you get here if you wanted to um, which will be profitable the whole way through it's just gonna be uh, a, lot, a lot less profitable until you get to maple but once you do just just fletch these literally just sit here and fletch the, the the maple logs into arrow shafts this is mega afk um i believe it's like 500 to 600k an hour it's really not much gp guys but for a free to play player and i wanted to include free to play in here i think it's um you can still get the paper on free to play so i think it makes sense to do so i feel like it would be a little bit mean not to um free to play normally doesn't really get covered so there we go but yeah this is nice and easy to do. Like I said, the other thing you could do is head off to the Lumbridge uh, farms and start slaughtering chickens for a few hours. It's not really AFK, but you will be killing them quickly enough that you are going to be getting the paper very quickly, um, just as quickly as doing it like this. Uh, and also, you're going to be making a good amount of money from collecting the stuff from there as well. Uh, I think that is the best money-making method that's, that's like not ridiculously high effort uh, for free-to-play. And I think, I, I genuinely think it is, and it's like 1.2 mil, so I did want to include this, even though it's like 500, 600k, it is mega AFK, and hey, if you can, if you can make the, the paper, get the paper, you know, and, and just AFK like this, then why not, good XP to get on it. Okay, so this next one is going to require the level 60 or better level 75 divination. You can do this at level 60, um, but if level 75 is going to be better to gather the energies more. But what we're going to be doing is gathering energies from the Vibrant Wisps. Now, Vibrant Wisps or Vibrant Energy is uh, worth 281 GP. So this is pretty valuable. And the reason it is is because you use these to create the sign of the porters, which, of course, a lot of people use uh, to be able to make sign of porters for the Grace of the Elves so they can AFK more stuff. What you're going to be doing is coming here and you're just going to be gathering all the energies that you can although the memories that you can sorry and keeping the energy and then making sure you configure your rift um when you come here to make sure that you are actually just converting everything into just energy you don't want the uh, the bonus xp or anything you want to convert it into energy which won't give you more xp when you when you convert the memories but you will get the energy so you're only going to get one xp every time you do this but you are going to get this now the one xp tick is fine that's plenty um and of course it is the xp ticks that you're coming here for when you are gathering which is nice and consistent so you are going to be getting good um christmas paper from this as well now if you have level 98 archaeology though you can actually make yourself the divine conservation relic which is going to allow you to actually convert all of your uh, memories instantly so you end up getting a lot more energies per hour which means you make more money per hour so with that it's around about four mil i do believe and uh, without it it is probably around about two to three mil so it's not a huge loss and it's still a good amount of money for completely afking like this is really low effort like really really low effort just just click on this then click on this um and of course whenever you do get a chronicle fragment the, the little orange floaty things you can empower the the rift here which will allow you to get an enriched um spring that you can actually the enriched wisp so you can get the enriched memories from it which obviously convert into more energies as well okay so finally we're going to be looking at the arc glacier in an afk method now you can see here that took us about 40 seconds to get the kill in afk in the gear i've got um obviously if you have high level gear you can kill this quicker low level gear is going to take a little bit slower um but you can get the paper as the boss dies now the reason i'm mentioning this is because this is the one i've been doing and i plan on keeping on doing for a while um this is a random preset that i loaded by the way the drops here are noted and are still pretty valuable um so you want to pick up all the noted stuff but the main reason you would come here is with the upgraded Pontifex Shadow Ring, you do get the Tier 3 Chests. Now, the Tier 3 Chests can drop Pernix Fragments, it can drop Onyxes, it can make you a good amount of money. So you're going to get a good amount of money from killing the boss anyway, um, but you're also able to get a good amount of money from those chests. And every couple of kills, you're going to get the Christmas paper drops. So while you are going to get a little bit of less Christmas paper, there is still a cooldown on it. So the XP drops that you get for killing this boss every 30 to 50 seconds is plenty to make sure you're getting the paper at a decent rate, while also making around about 5 mil an hour. So this is the one I'm going to opt for. Obviously, at this time, you can see I didn't get the actual paper drop. And the next skill I will do and hey it's still a good amount of money you just stack these drops up you keep your area loot open you pick up the right drops that you want to actually take obviously don't drop your brews on the floor this is because i just loaded a random preset and ran here um, but you can also get nihilus from this you can also get the remnants which is good for any drops that you want to do once you start pushing into hard mode 
The only thing you can't get in here is, of course, the hard mode drops and the when bug. You can't get the when bug in here because you only have one mechanic on. But you can AFK the Arc Glacier in normal mode with the Flurry mechanic on um, and just keep an eye on your prayer and stuff, unlike me. Uh, and then just that's it. Obviously, the faster you get the kills, the more money you get, the more paper you get. But at the end of the day, hey, you're killing a boss, you're getting marks of war, you're getting money. And it's it's this is like mega AFK, like ridiculously AFK. And there you go, that brings us to the end of this video where hopefully you have found some ways to AFK, make a bit of extra money while getting your paper and you're not just sat doing what I was doing, uh, doing proteins when really you could be making money as well as getting paper and it's probably a little bit more efficient, although if you do need the skilling XP then of course it's a good way to do it. But yeah, if you wanted to make money while also gathering paper, these are some good methods. There's loads of other methods as well, I couldn't just list all of them, um, but anything that makes a few mil an hour while you're just AFKing completely for paper, you might as well do it, you might as well get on board and grab this uh, and yeah so hopefully that you found this video useful if you did please do leave a like do subscribe to the channel if you're new hopefully my voice is fixed by the next video we'll have to see but thank you all for listening and putting up with it i appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye